understand. I want the case, Lieutenant. All right, you got it. How do you like that? Me, an old junkie, belonging to the PTA. <laughs> Holly Connor, all cleaned up. Keeping all your tame junkies out there on a string, does it make you feel like a big, powerful man? Does it make you God? <laughs> You go back on the street, don't you? Don't you? my friend? I don't know your friend. Sure, he's around all the time. You know, old Gene. Don't use all the cream and sugar. Marjorie and the kids. On relief. Got him qualified. Relieved him of me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, tell me. Come on. How things going? Oh, bad, man. It's real, real bad. I mean, I, I don't know what's the matter with me. You know, I ain't, I ain't feeling so good. And, and, and I can't seem to get it together anymore. And I, I try. I mean, I, I swear to you, I try. I know. Uh, that's how it is. And my man, my, my main man, I can't find him no place. And, and even if I do, could, I, I couldn't even make a, a buy. What man? I heard he's scared off. Who? Well, listen, I'm in a fix, too. Maybe we both get some out. You, uh, got bread? For me, too? Well, who's the man? Maybe I'll find him. Sid Matthews, you remember him? Oh, yeah. Where is he? I told you I can't find him no place. Well, maybe if we both look, we got twice as many chances, right? Oh, yeah. Listen, you find him first. You tell me. I'll find him, Holly. I'll find him. And I'll tell you. I swear I'll tell you. Okay. Now, listen, you drank the coffee, so you pay for it. Joe. Joe. Yeah. Lowen wants to see us, but I thought we should have a talk first. Peace. Well, you've got your smidge back now, Sergeant Farley. You've got him back for Keats. Frank William 899. 